Hi all and welcome to another training session. So, what I want to do today is 50 chess exercises for beginners. Now this time around uh, I don't want it to make a race against the clock, I'm not trying to set some sort of personal record. Instead I want to try and verbalize my train of thought, uh, pretty much as I did also in training session number one. And I want to invite you to uh, solve the puzzles with me uh, along the way. Okay, so here we go. Problem number 285, but I'm not sure if he um, he follows this exact order. I think he chooses them random because I am supposed to review a number of them. So, um, yeah, okay, let's see. Here we go. Deflection and discovered attack. White to play. Okay, um, well, what I see is the rook is in the same file as the king. What I also see is the pawn on c7, which cannot be promoted at the moment. What I also see is that rook c8, f8 is a target to the queen. Now we can take the rook and deflect the queen so that now we can promote with check, right? So black's queen does not have time to take white's queen, and this is of course a winning position. Okay, the next one decoy and discovered attack. Okay, well, there is enormous strength here for white on the king side. We see uh, the rooks on the G and H file. We see the knight uh, on that side of the board. And of course, we see the queen looking at uh, H7. Now, um, normally in these situations, I want to try and use some sort of brute force. So rook takes G7 check is very much uh, on the cards. Um, but what also is very interesting is queen h7 check. Um, I think I'm going to go with queen h7 check for now. And then if he plays king f7, it's of course queen takes g7 and that's just winning the house. The king can just go away, but okay, I'm winning the house. Um, the proof of the pudding is of course in the eating of the queen. So uh, queen h7, king h7, and then I was thinking knight f5 discovered check and if bishop h6 in between rook h6 is made or if the king moves back to g8 then rook takes g7 is checkmate so i think that should be the correct solution okay now here we go so he wants me to play this rook takes h6 line excellent so here we go surprisingly frequent and white is to play and with that, maybe they mean that this is something that happens quite often. Surprisingly frequent. Well, um, you know, the queen would like to take the bishop, but the bishop is still protected by the queen. Um, and I would also like to take the knight, but the knight is also protected by the queen. So it looks like uh, an overworked queen here. If I play knight takes knight, then I'm up a piece. And then if he recaptures that knight, then of course there is queen e7. So I think that should just win a piece. I don't see any other tricks there for, for black. Um, ah, okay. Well, that's also a solution, I suppose. That just, that just wins the queen. Now I understand why they call this one surprisingly frequent. Okay, because of this discovered attack. Uh, against h7. Okay, well, I suppose I learned something there. Surprisingly frequent. Ah, yeah, of course, they want me to repeat it because I got it wrong, right? And now it's rook takes queen. Here we go. A beautiful combination. La di da. Mm -hmm. Well, okay, uh, I would like to give a discovered uh, check against the king, you know, with the battery of queen h4 and bishop h6. But for the moment, my queen, the white queen, that is, is attacked by black's queen. So if I want to give this check, then I suppose I must begin with uh, either bishop f4, or um, I'll make it work in such a way that I remove the defender from f7, and then that rook f7 is a deadly check. That looks very attractive. So let's just start with bishop h6 takes f8 discovered check and then um well he has to take that really but then there is rook 
yeah, yeah, then there is rook f7, and if he goes, then there is rook f7. He cannot go to h6, of course, because my bishop is over there. He cannot stay on the, on the seventh rank. Uh, what I wanted to try is if king g8, then... Um, well, then, for instance, there is the discovered attack with rook f4 check. That king cannot take that bishop, so it has to go back to the h file. And then I take the queen with check again. That's very nice. Uh, but then there's also the king h8 move left. Oh, I don't have a lot of time, so I'm pretty sure that this is it. So let's just start here. Yeah, so he's going over there. Um, but now um, this check will probably win. I can give a double check now. No, no, I think I should just play this move first. And then this check. Yeah, excellent. Okay. Because now I'm actually up sufficient material. That is definitely not a chess exercise for beginners, guys. This is um, an 11 ply deep combination. And uh, well, I didn't come up with the, with the title of this particular course, 1001 chess, chess Exercises for Beginners. But uh, here we go. Hmm, maybe I should cut it short, by the way, since I'm really explaining now my train of thought. 50 variations might actually be uh, too much still. So let's just keep an eye on that. The time studied is already 40 minutes and something. Or, well, I'm not sure that is true. No, okay, let's continue. Next. A stylish mate. Um, I think it should start with knight e6 double check. Uh, sorry, it's not double check. Uh, discover check, I want to say. Of course, um, well, you can take the queen, but then bishop g7 is mate. Uh, and if you put something in between... So knight e6, and then uh, the only thing you can really put in between is the pawn. But where where's the mate after g6, g5? Funnily enough, I don't really see that. Uh, where is the mate? And where are my visualization skills? My gosh, this is really starting to take too long. So I'm going to gamble this one. Because uh, I'm pretty... Yeah, okay. But they, they need to show us what happens after g5 there. Okay, so let's click here. g5, yeah, then the only check is basically um, this one. And then you have to play this one. But I didn't see yet how I'm mating here. How am I mating here? Oh, you're not mating here. That's the problem. That's the problem, because now they just give a very long line where you're just simply quote-unquote winning. Yeah. Okay, well, this is like, sorry guys, this is an extremely long line. I mean, how can this be a chess exercise for beginners? But I think I saw the important point, which was knight e6, and then if you blunder, well, blunder, sacrifice the queen, then um, bishop g7 was made. Oops, I involuntarily clicked already on the next puzzle. But here we go, nice and quick. White to play. Um... Well, of course, uh, we want to checkmate on e7. And uh, in order to do that, we need... Um, some support uh, 
we need some support uh, from the knight on c8 or the knight on f8. Guys, these, these puzzles are really not so simple. So let's go with knight c8, check. The queen cannot be taken, but of course there are three ways to interpose and we can immediately skip king e8, queen e7 mate. So now let's take a look at the um, interpositionings. So for instance, there's rook b4, but I immediately take that, so we can skip that. Then there is queen c5, I take that knight c5 and then rook d8 is made. Or if you play um, knight c5, then it's queen takes knight, queen takes queen, and again rook d8 is made. And it's important that the d8 square is not covered by the rook on b8, so uh, it, it definitely means that uh, knight c8 is the correct move, and not uh, knight f5. So this is checkmate. Yeah, okay, here we go. Next one, guys. That was six lines already. First, you have to prepare... Well, I see, of course, that the queen is on the long diagonal as the king, so that means um, we have trickery. And one trick is rook takes h6 check. If you take that, then I suppose... There is any number... of discovered attacks. For instance, there is rook e7 check, and then king g8 needs to be played. But I'm not sure it's strong enough, because I've already sacrificed two rooks for that line. Mm. So it's it's quite possible that, um, hmm, that we're making a mistake here if we're not careful. And in the meantime, the time is running out. Well, you know, it, it does give me two pawns, so I think it should be a winning position. So let's just prepare. Okay, this is the correct move. Now, is there another try, a better try? For instance, this is a double check, of course. Uh, this is a double check, meaning that there is only king h7. And then there's a check on d3, but the king can go here, and I don't have the, the staircase step with queen d4. So yeah, it, it doesn't seem that I can, I can mate him there, or can I? Rook e8 check, double check, so the king has to move here, queen h8, and then... Um, the king goes to a g6, and then there's another check with f5. But I have the feeling that the, the, the king is just moving. So I'm gonna go for the win of the queen here. Yeah, let's just try and play this. Okay, he likes it. Yeah, I was just thinking that maybe there should be a, a more sophisticated uh, solution, but this is this is basically it. Um, oh, we have to to make another move here, guys. Yeah, we can take on a5. Huh? That's also very very pretty. And then I'm I'm already three pawns up, so that should that should be it. Okay, let's not make it any more difficult than it's supposed to be. Seven. That was a seven. Two shattering checks. Right, right, okay. Well, one shattering check is rook g6 check, and that one cannot be taken, of course. And then you have to go to the h file with the king, and then there's queen h5 check, bishop h6, and we take that, and then it's mate. No, 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 there's a pawn on d5, I'm completely blind. So first I should, of course, um, since he does not have a counter, I should open that file with tempo. Why was that move wrong? Um, next. Okay, so they want me to start here. And this is the second shattering check. 
Okay, now you know, I, I, I really want to see what was wrong here. Can we please go here and ask the computer if d6 is also winning? What did... Ah, no, no, of course. We can already see that this is completely wrong because of rook takes and now the rook defends g6. So that was bad. That was really quite bad. Can we go back here? If we just click on back. Now we can just close this window. Okay. Yeah, my bad. Here we go. Uh, deflection and discovered attack. Yeah. Uh, there's something with rook h3 and there's something with um, knight g6. But we have to be uh, very careful. Let's go with knight g6. There are two ways you can take that. You can take that with the pawn, but then rook h3 is, is deadly because you... Uh, well, it, it's made, basically. And uh, the other try after 96 check is queen takes. And in that case, I think we... Yeah, what do we play, actually? Because my queen is also attacked, right? So we can play... Hmm. Um, rook c4, of course. Rook c4 is the move, and then he has to go in between again. But then we can take on g7, then there's king g7, and then there's also rook c7 takes a7. So that would be sufficient material to win, especially since I'm not in trouble on the back rank because my d pawn uh, protects. So let's just start with knight g6. That just looks really good, and now I can just go here. And now I don't think there was another trick. Let me just continue here and then continue here. Yeah, okay. Furman Smyslov that was. Well, congratulations, Furman. An overloaded knight. Yeah, this is funny stuff, isn't it? Okay, it's bishop h7. Uh, the knight is overloaded because the knight has to protect both the queen on d8 and also the pawn on h7. So here we go. Check. That should be correct. And now there is, of course, this horrible um, win of the queen. Uh, gaining a knight. Really? Well, it must be knight b5. Check. But then there is still, no, there is no king d6, of course. Well, well, well. I'm not really in a very good shape. How to prevent mate white to play? Well, it's this check, and then we win the queen. White to play, turning the corner. So the problem is that black wants to promote and then it's um, then it's a draw. One way to try and stop that is of course knight h1 check. Um, the bishop on h2 cannot be taken if you interpose. With bishop g3, that's very nasty, huh? Wow, but wow. Knight h1, bishop g3. Well, I'll take the knight, I'll take the bishop, of course, again with the knight. Um, I guess I'm tired. I don't know what's going on. Um, okay, and if you go away, I'll just take on f2. I mean, this should be. Uh, this should be quite a simple position, solution. Mating 3 to finish things 
off. So, how can we start? And how is that pawn on d7 going to help? Um, I think there's basically one check to consider here. It's king b6, then it's king b8. King b6, king b8, and then knight Yeah, okay, king b6, rook takes, queens on d8, bishop goes in between, and then queen d5 is made. Alright, so one, two, three. Okay, well, uh, yet again, <laughs> quiz, white to play. Okay, now this one is not so, not so difficult. Yeah, the queen is... Um, sacrificed and the knight is uh, blocking an escape square here a famous made in three well that must be this decoy and now we have to play precisely we have to go here now bishop d8 yeah this is one you find in all the puzzle books the end of the evergreen game aha anderson kizuritsky um let's try and play a double check But where are we going to play the double check on b5? Ah, no, 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 no. We're going to play it on f5 because we don't want uh, the black king to go to e6. We want to, him to go to c6 because then bishop d7 is checkmate. So this is the first move, definitely one. And now it's two. And then, uh, well, we can take with the pawn, but maybe it's nicer just to take with the bishop, right? The end of the evergreen game. So, um, a king stuck in the middle. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, we have to make use of both open files and do some sacrifices to deflect defenders from vital squares. So I think we should start with Princess Knight F6 check. If he takes that with the Queen, then there is Queen D8 check. The Bishop must take on D8 and then Bishop B5 double check is made. So, so far so good. Um, he can also take that, of course, with the bishop, but then again, bishop b5 double check is made. And uh, otherwise, I don't see a solution. So it must be a knight f6 check. And now the idea was to sacrifice here and then deliver this double check and mate. Okay, so seven more, I think, because the video is otherwise um, going to be a little bit too long. This one's also famous. Um, we have to bring the king into the reach of the knight so that both knight and bishop on the long diagonal uh, can give a double check. So this should be uh, the correct way to start. And now not knight e7 because then he escapes to h7 but knight f5 and then this is a very famous mating pattern. A devastating double check here as well. Oh no, do I have to play the whole uh, Thomas Lasker game because I always forget where the where the knight has to go a devastating but uh, let's just start like this I think this should be the idea but maybe it's not so difficult if we now give the devastating double check over there yeah it's just this one double check and now this one is made okay it's not the the Thomas Lasker game or the Lasker Thomas game I should say a, a paralyzing move. Well, queen c4 is very much paralyzing, isn't it?
but rook c1 is also very paralyzing. So where to go? If rook c1, we can't really move the queen. Because then queen c4. He can also not move the bishop. He can move the rook though, but he has to do it in such a way that uh, he protects the queen. So rook c1, rook d6 takes on c6 and also wins uh, the bishop on c5. So rook c1 then probably the only move left. Uh, we have to be careful. We have to be careful because there is a check on d1. So rook c1, check on d1, that's just lost. Well then it has to be queen c4 as the only paralyzing move. And now rook d1 picks up the rook. Yeah, this is best. Absolutely. Um, okay, interesting. But, yeah, I mean, let's just take this bishop, shall we? And now, again, we have to be careful. What's the correct try here? Wow, <laughs> this is still tricky somehow. I want to play um, rook, uh, bishop c5. Bishop c5, rook d1, king g2. That just seems to win. Um, and otherwise, if he plays queen c5, it's queen d5 winning. But if bishop c5, rook c5... I'm not so sure yet how I'm winning that. So bishop c5 does not really seem to win. But then what do I have to do? This is a weird situation. Queen c8 check. Don't really see how that helps me. Now is really the move. Now is really the move. Bishop c5, rook c5. What am I missing there? Rook takes queen, rook takes queen. Yeah, that just looks very drawish. Uh, to be honest, I don't know. Let's click I don't know. A5? A5? Uh, sorry. This is too deep for me a5 and what if he now just plays this move for instance ah, well it's completely unclear to me that this would be a winning endgame so my gosh guys this is absolutely not a beginner's test well, we can believe the computer that it's winning. I mean, it's plus 12. The computer is suggesting... Well, it's not so important what the computer is suggesting. White spawn is just faster, it seems. Okay, guys, that's, that's, really, that's really too difficult. I mean, that has nothing to do with a tactical chess exercise. That's just trying to to go into a winning endgame using tactics but that's really high school chess um, during a game maybe i would find that because then you're in a different frame of mind you're not necessarily in a puzzle frame of mind but this is difficult okay next a paralyzing move uh, okay so they want me to execute this one and then this one 
well, the only move I see now is a6. Is there any commentary there with a decisive advantage? Well, okay. A pin and a deflection. Well, today they're difficult, guys. Today they are difficult. I'm having troubles today. I'm definitely having troubles today. It seems all those squares, e7 and d8, it's all, all protected somehow, yeah? Uh, a pin and deflection. Phew. I'm also looking at knight c7, but so f8 is attacked twice and protected twice, and otherwise there's there's not a real check. I can attack that rook again with rook g8. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I think I see it. Rook g8, and now there is this check to bring the king to e8 so that I can attack king and rook with this check. Very nice. Okay, not not easy. Not easy for me at least. Mm, well, okay, we just take that. And this is mate. Well, that was just barely in time. Okay, so three more positions and then that's it, guys. Uh, double check, I think. That's not so difficult. That's mate. The last two here, the bishop for a double check. Yeah, okay. This is interesting. The rook is also there on f1, and the rook is protecting or attacking or controlling the f8 square. That's important. Um, because this forces the king into a double check. Now we can give the double check and it's actually made because the F file is controlled here. So, okay, final position. A winning attack. Well, it has to be uh, rook g7 somehow. If he takes that with the... Hmm. If he takes that with the... With the king... Then again, there's a double check, rook g8 double check. He cannot stay on the g-file then. Um, obviously, he cannot go to h8 or h7. So what's left there for the king is... Um, is f7, is f7. But how do we kill him after f7? Somehow I don't really see that. Oh, well, then the rook is not protecting the queen. So then we can take the queen. That's that's very nice. Yeah, so if nothing else... No, it's, this is sufficient. Oh, alternative. Find another move, he says. I was thinking about rook g7. That looks strong enough. Um, there is also queen. So rook g7, king e8, aha, uh -huh. and then bishop h5, and then king d8, and then we can still check from b6. So we play rook g7. Okay, this check. Um, yeah, okay. Um, I wanted to play this queen b6, which was somehow nicer, I think. I, everything wins, and this wins, for instance. Alternative I have to find now. I have to find an alternative, but then it has to be a check. Yeah. Okay, let's try this. Incorrect. So where's, where's... 
Oh, now he wants me to take the queen. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I consider that one uh, solved. And uh, those were 25 variations. Accuracy 94, quite difficult. Uh, time studied 40 minutes. I don't think it's 40 minutes. I think it's just because um, I started um, the batch of puzzles and then paused it for a moment just to start the video. Okay, well guys, um, please like, subscribe and comment on YouTube and see you in the next video. Bye bye.